If we are going to move forward on tackling local and global challenges together, collectively, we need to have a shared vision of what the ideal society looks like. Answering the questions of how the different elements of society function and how they interact. To answer these questions is to chart a vision for the world. Regarding where we need to be, the practices of indigenous peoples embody one answer, as indigenous people live in concert with the land and use local resources. Their lives are powered by biodegradable resources and bio-based energy. Over the millennia in which all were indigenous, we had a world that was sustainable, verdant, and healthy by many measures. The challenge is that many of us have far outstripped our indigenous roots and we have developed industrial-scale supply chains that reach widely beyond our local carrying capacity. We don't see or feel even most of the impacts of these systems that gather and process and redistribute minerals, fibers, and crops from around the globe. Yet we, at least those of us in the most resource-intensive nations, have become accustomed to lives that depend on creating those impacts. The vast bulk of those of us who benefit from these systems would like to maintain our advances in technology and science and make those advances available to more people should they wish to engage in them, while mitigating, if not eliminating, the negative repercussions. Yet making advances available to more people only increases the prospect of scaling negative impacts. This idea of a world that works for all has been better detailed in a few ways. The first is by the Natural Step movement of the late 1980s and 1990s. Born in Northern Europe, TNS served as an international network of stakeholders, charting out how human society can best align with the interests and needs of the planet. TNS came up with four clear principles that are essentially this. One, we must strive to use 100% renewable resources. Two, we must strive to use 100% non-toxic materials. Three, we must maintain the productivity of the Earth's living systems. And four, resources must be used fairly and efficiently to meet human needs. As a validation of this framework, on September 25, 2015, the United Nations adopted 17 Sustainable Development Goals to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure prosperity for all. Development goals like no poverty and zero hunger are largely self-explanatory. Other goals take additional interpretation and distillation into metrics and targets. The SDGs reinforce the need for healthy conditions for all life on land, healthy seas, and sustainable cities and communities. The SDGs also flesh out social equity into its multiple dimensions. So good health, quality education, decent work and economy, reduced inequality within and among countries, gender equality, access to clean water, access to affordable and clean energy, peace and justice. Our, Our task, task is to make, make the natural step plus sustainable, sustainable development goals vision into reality. If you accept that life on the planet has value, this is your charge.